Hey guys, Mr. Sima command you with a patch note of 5.7. For Bard, holy shit, another set of Bard buffs. Increasing his base damage and base armor will make his laning phase easier. Meeps respawn faster as means that he can train more often in lane. And Chime restores his max mana now instead of missing. That is huge in roaming scenarios or fights around his Chimes. Basically, he can never go oom. Um. The Q damage buff is meh. Luckily, he didn't get the range buff on his auto attack in the PB. All in all, maybe we'll, people will start playing him now. Don't blame him if you guys suck with him. Guard is a great champion. For Blitzcrank, damn, I never thought they would do this again. Like, for those who don't know, Blitz's overdrive used to be like this back in beta and pre season 1, just for reference. This nerf will punish Blitz hard and will make him less scary in solo queue. Since the duration got reduced and he gets slowed afterwards by 30%, some of you guys might go, Oh, but he gets a shit ton of mood speed to compensate. Trust me, it's not worth the trade-off, guys. For Darius, ooh, it's good to see he's actually getting some love, mainly in the mana department, because dunking people and getting pentas is nice, but most of the time, Darius will just run out of juice, and at rank 3, Darius gets back into his zone, and it's power play time, with a full reset on the level 3 ultimate. For Evelyn, with this set of buff to her damage, I'm pretty sure she'll start seeing some plays again. Eve and Cinder Hulk might become popular and she has plenty of new toys this season such as Righteous Glory for mana issues, Luden's Echo for infinite damage and tons of more items. So try her out and see how it goes, you won't be disappointed. For Fizz, just like Blitzcrank, they did the switcheroo with Fizz again. He is the way he was before they quote unquote nerfed him and gave him an on hit percent health damage. Now it's part of the dot and his W on hit scales with AP like before. So rest in peace Jungle Fizz and welcome back Assassin Fizz. For Garen, I guess if Darius got some buffs on his ultimate, then giving the same treatment to Garen makes sense since they are sort of the opposite of each other, yet similar. They spin and they dunk and they run at you. And this change might actually make Garen a super lane bully once again at level 6. For Hecarim, he is getting nerfed for his laning. It should hurt him, but the trade-off is he can sustain with his W in lane. It shouldn't be too bad. Top lane TP Hecarim should still be a thing, and the good side about it, it won't hurt his jungle at all. For Cassadin, here we go again. Prepare to clench your buttholes, Cassadin is getting another buff. If you guys watch the Challenger series, some of you might know that Cass does a shit ton of damage with his new ult and Ludens Echo. So prepare a solo queue, the Prima Band Cass might be back. For Maokai, this is another nerf targeted to top laners, and this time to Maokai's passive. It's gonna suck, but it's not gonna suck that much. It will be very slightly easier to deal with, but his jungle is gonna suffer more than his top lane. But who even jungles Maokai nowadays? For Morgana, just some visual updates so she looks prettier in her new dress. Nice. For Nilly, fuck this bitch. She can go burn in hell. Because of this nerf, she must go Rod of Ages or else she will just die instantly if someone catches her. And if she wants to duel a jungler early game, she might just die due to not having enough health. Take that, you pussy bitch. For Quinn. Ooh, first set of buff to the blind mechanic, making it so when you blind someone and they auto you at the same time, the attack actually misses. Good for them. For Rek'Sai. I don't know why Rek'Sai is getting another nerf to her damage, because she doesn't do that much damage, and also, personally, I think Cinderhulk Rek'Sai is better, but that's just me. Though they compensated by giving her E-Tunnel a lot more utility, since that's the skill people will max second nowadays. For Shen, holy shit, some Shen buff. And on his ultimate as well? This is good for him, but it won't fix any of his problems, and Rat will never fix his problems, because you do one thing wrong with Shen, and he ends up perma banned or perma picked either for jungle or for top. Only thing that wouldn't break the game, give him some fucking mana, I mean some fucking magic resist per level. He's a tank for fuck's sake. And no, the shield doesn't justify it for everyone thinking it does. For Singe, a simple bug fix to his E, I jungled Singe and didn't even realize I wasn't doing as much damage as I should have. But it's okay for Peter to spot it out, so it's a good change. For Teemo, same thing with Quinn, a good buff on his blind so it makes it more clear. How ironic. For Tristana, this is a throwback buff to the one a few patches ago. Now it makes Tristana feel even better when she uses her explosive shot 
and rapid fire on someone since they now share a mutually beneficial relationship where she benefits on both skills for doing that. I will break it down for you guys so you understand better. So when you press Q and you auto someone, the CD on your E goes down. And when you press E on someone and auto him, your Q CD goes down. Confusing? Yes it is. For a Cinder Hulk, I'm sure everyone saw this one coming from a mile away and to be honest the base health nerf I'm okay with it. That's normal, they didn't destroy the item yet. But the gold I never knew why they actually made it cost less than the other jungle items. I just thought it was a visual bug or a typo and I 100% support that change. But Cinder Hulk junglers will still be very good. For the Tiamat. Just a small change to the radius and make the splash damage more consistent and clear. For the Grom buff, this is sad but it makes sense for them to do so since late game it sorta of sucked for an 80 carry to kill themselves because of it. But now since it goes down from 10% bonus health to 5% bonus health as damage, in the end tanks will still benefit from it, just not as much. A pretty small patch today, nothing too crazy, so I'll see you guys next time for another patch. Ciao ciao!